And this just in, Android phones caught juicing. Samsung has gotten flack recently for cheating on benchmarks on their phones. Anantech discovered back in July that if you run various benchmarking apps on the S4, the Note 3, and the Tab 10.1, the system would detect it and ramp up CPU and GPU performance in order to do better on the test. Basically, it's like writing the answers to a test in your hand, and when the questions come, you just look at your hand because you're a dirty cheater. Anantech has now reported that Samsung is not the only manufacturer trying to cheat the system. They posted a detailed article comparing most of the big Android phone's performance on seven benchmarking apps, and all of them, minus the Motorola and Nexus phones and the Nvidia Shield, cheated on at least two benchmarks. I feel betrayed. Now, tech manufacturers cheating on tests is nothing new. Various PC vendors did on CPUs and GPUs in the past, but the funny thing here is that the performance gains are so silly. 0-5% to for CPUs and less than 10% for GPUs. Ooh. 5%. The good news is that testers are finding ways to stay ahead of the manufacturers by making new benchmarks, like the newly released N22X, specifically testing for the use of electronic performance enhancing drugs. Man, this is like the Lance Armstrong thing. If you want to check out Anantech's full report, click the link in the description. How do you guys feel about being lied to like you're a naive child? Sound off in the comments. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Don't cheat on tests, because Anand will find you.